see the mitigations of the complications of, oh, you already know all that. Look, this guy is from the future. He's a time traveling salesman. You'll find that out later. Oh wait, now you found it out. Pretend like you don't remember that later, okay? All right. I see, so there's pretty much no way I'll be able to use this information now. What, what, what you need to be aware of is him. Who him? Wait, wait, can't you as the future me just tell me the past me if, if this worked? It didn't work the first time, but maybe it will the second. Unless, of course, destiny is predetermined. I remember being very annoyed at future me for not being very helpful. I'm annoyed at you for not being very helpful. Perhaps the past and future are locked, and thus there can be no paradox. Maybe we should tell him who him is. Do it! He yeah. is. Where did they go? Oh man! That was a useless warning! Come on, future me! I gotta remember to be more useful this time. <sighs> well, now I don't know who him is, or who the bleep that guy was, or what the bleep to be warned about. <sighs> if only there was somebody I could talk to about logic. Well, there's a lot of people, but there's only one person I know the phone number of. That's Karen. Give her a call on my lobster phone. Beep, 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 beep. Hello? Yeah, hey Karen, Dan. Do you know who him is? Huh? I said, do you know who him is? I have no idea what you're talking about. But I'm working on something. You want help? Of course, I'm always willing to help you. <laughs> Anything you need, Karen. Uh, what do you got on, on the plate? Great. I'm going to be taking a look at the tag argument of Matt Slick. What? Him? Him? Oh no, not him! No! No! No, not him! Okay, I'll help you. Uh, your beard is way out of control. You should shave it. Hmm. You have a good point. Um, I've got to go now. I have a turtle in the oven. Bye. I guess that explains everything. Except for who that guy was. Maybe that's him now. <laughs> I'm a time traveling uh, salesman from the future. A solution for global warming, just point fan out window. No more global warming. Hey, over here. Point all your fans at global windows. Hey, hey. Global windows are pointing. See, here's another fan that we're pointing out the window to save global warming, right? Yeah. Because that's how to it works. Save global warming? Yeah, like make not global warming of the happen. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. What about, what do you think? Do you think that this will work to save global warming from not happening? Point fan out window. Sure. Yeah. I don't see why. There that. you go. Three people have agreed that global warming will be saved by pointing fans out windows. And your food's getting cold. Converted man here, and I'm here with. Yes, it's the real Hector Defendi from YouTube. Also, hi. And. I don't. Guy. Guy. <laughs> and guy. How about that guy? Guy. No, he never appears on camera. He guy. Say he can say stuff. Hello. <laughs> hey, you're on YouTube guy. finally. He's the <laughs> guy. I gotta now, say real quick, I have to say hi to um, Godless Engineer and Lucy D and Pimp Monk X and D fucking Wayne and Randy and Steve the Shives Kangaroo guy. and TJ and 
Dusty Smith and blah blah blah. No, you forgot atheism is unstoppable. Uh, yeah, Devin, Devin. Uh, who else did I forget? So many to remember. Creationist uh, cat. Creationist cat. Addy, Addy. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have found this thing. <laughs> and uh, there's a whole bunch more. <laughs> Jealous Addy. Me and my new lobsterist friend here. <laughs> new. <laughs> new, new old. Op- yeah. yeah. He's a lobsterist now. He wasn't a lobsterist before, so that makes him new. Yeah. But he's a lobsterist, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a lobsterist. He's a lobsterist, <laughs> and you're not. Eat it! Eat it, Addy! Eat it, Finite Atticus! I will win on that next debate! I'll win! Ah, ah, ah.